But we are rolling. Could okay. you introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, and how long you've been in real estate? Unless you really don't want to answer that third one. Okay. <laughs> I've been in forever. <laughs> anyway, Julie Waldorf, Real Estate Choices in Florescent, Colorado, Teller County, Park County, and Summit County. I've been in real estate many, many years, probably about 35 years. I've been my own broker for about 30 years of that. So I've had my own business for 30 years. In your own words, what's the difference between exchanging and more standard forms of real estate? Standard form is you, you hear this is for sale, buyer comes along and buys it. Exchanging is, we'll sell it, but we have to find something else because it's the tax, the tax benefit. 1031 exchange is a, a tax benefit for a seller that has a million dollar hotel and they want to uh, go into maybe two million dollar hotels. And so they say, okay, I will, I'll, I'll sell this, but I have to buy two motels with that. Otherwise, I will have to pay, out of that million dollar profit, I'll have to pay $350,000 in taxes. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna roll it into a 1031 exchange. You know, and if you're gonna be buying something, um, if you're exchanging out of it and using the property to buy something, say, and I'll, I'll bring it down to, say it's just a house and it's an investment house. If you bought a house for, say, 100,000, we'll use wrong figures. You bought it for 100,000, you've owned it for 27 years, you depreciated down to zero. It was an investment property. Well, out of that $100,000 house, if you sell it for 200,000, you'll be paying about a third, 38% actually, in taxes of the whole amount, minus your, your selling fees. So you might as well roll that $200,000 into another property or two other properties. You'll have your basis will go back up to, say you buy two $200,000 houses with that. Your basis will go up to $100,000 on each. You'll get to depreciate that. And um, you uh, save a third, which is a long line. And that's how you do create wealth, is by 1031 exchange. What are some of the benefits? Uh, well, yeah, you just named it. It's creating... It's creating uh, it's paying your taxes later because you do everybody pays taxes when they die <laughs> one way or the other that's what happens so is is that one of the main benefits that a client would say want to do exchanging yeah that's your main benefit then do you think you can uh it's like a better service to your client by utilizing these strategies yes yes if you have more buying power by even just a hundred thousand dollar house that it has appreciated to two hundred thousand, which is, is simple math and it's reality. It's a, it's a true, you know, in ten years something can appreciate that much, and they're not going to be paying, you know, what is that, thirty, forty thousand dollars in taxes and then put it into another property. Yeah, you benefit them a lot. What kind of people are attracted to exchanging? Uh, people who know it, okay, I mean, who are interested in it, and like to play in a, a out of the box. They like to play out of the box instead of in the box. And, um, and they're uh, creative and they're, they're like to travel and, and check things out and they don't stay in one little spot. Have you gotten any interesting commissions through? I had got a house once, and it was just a little small house. I traded um, a RV park in Hayes, Kansas for a motel in Colorado Springs, and the commission was a house. And it was a little house out in the middle of Timbuktu, and it's like, okay, what the heck? And then I sold it later on. Uh, why do you think that this isn't as popular of a form? Lack of education. More than anything, I think it'd be real popular, because nowadays, uh, the younger generation's more tech, and you can't do tech. It's a, and exchanging is a people thing. You have to have people exchange. Um, um, communication but the on the techie it's so hard to communicate as it is and so it's not as quick it's a slower process how long have you been exchanging I've been exchanging I don't do a lot of it but I I've been exchanging for a good I've, uh, a couple 20 years okay yeah, so a while a yeah. while so when you started doing it did you feel like your relationship with your clients got better yeah I educated people what I liked about like about the knowledge of it is even if I even if they don't ex, end up exchanging their property, um, and they sell it and pay the taxes, at least they know they're going to have to pay the taxes. And it's not a surprise, you know. And yeah, you you do save people a lot of money and say go talk to your accountant. 
Well, I hear the term counseling used a lot, which is... Yeah. Well, you just don't get into exchanging. You get into explaining wraps, and you get into explaining owner carries, and you get into explaining um, um, investments in, in how you can increase your um, income. You know, an older couple, they were going to just sell a property that they had up in Hartzell and it, to somebody, and I said... Um, no, <laughs> do not do that. And they ended up um, uh, uh, leasing it to him, doing a lease option. So you learn lease options. And then after about 20 years, then they sold it to him and they made a lot of money off of it. And, um, and because of my knowledge through exchanging, I, could, I increased their income by $2,000 a month. So what's a lease option? In... What's a lease option? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna rent a house. I wanna buy this house, okay. But I can't afford to buy this house. But I can afford, you know, maybe the payment's gonna be a thousand if I rented it. Well, I can afford fifteen hundred until I create some revenue or that five hundred dollars can go towards the down payment. Because I don't have the down payment, or I'm waiting for my credit to get better, or I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna be moving or not, if I'm gonna be staying here or not. So, okay, can I lease your property for uh, fifteen hundred instead of a thousand? Five hundred dollars can be applied towards the down payment, and I'll purchase it within you can make it any time, you know, five years, three years, one year, six months. It just matters what your circumstance is. And you can be as creative as it gets on lease options. So that's, so. and that is an example of a formula. Yeah, okay. that is an example of a formula. And um, uh, yeah, lease, yeah, so all the knowledge that I have that's additional, like lease option, owner carry, wrap, yeah, tax law. So what's that. an owner carry? Owner carry is if your house is free and clear and, and the seller, um, would want, you know, just sitting there, say if it's just sitting there. Okay, well, they don't want to rent it out. Okay, so they, but they, because they don't, but they don't want to, they don't want to rent it out. They want to sell it, but they want a passive income. So the, a good option is to say, okay, put 10% down or 20% down and play bank and then get extra additional money in and not have to be responsible for that. Um, what do you mean? Like, do you have any memorable exchanges from your career? The motel, the RV, and the house. There was a couple, actually, two or three houses in that deal. That was probably the biggest one I've done. And I came across that because the people were in foreclosure in one of the houses. But they had an RV park and all this stuff. And, and um, it was complicated. It was, it was a good, good deal for everybody involved. And, um, and it feels good when you help people out a lot. And I helped that. Those people would have lost their lifetime work if if they wouldn't have met me and, and, and my friend Ray and we, we figured it out for them, which was cool. Well, it seems like that's definitely a benefit, though not necessarily financial, of doing these things is like really making... Well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the whole deal. And that, yeah, and that older couple, I helped them out with them a lot too. It's amazing how people... <laughs> well, I know you didn't go into the specifics of it, but how long did that deal take approximately? That deal took probably, you know, we had to run Hayes, we had to go all over Colorado, it seemed like. <laughs> it took about, um, it didn't take that long, really, about three, four months. It okay. wasn't that long. Yeah, no, that's not. But it was a lot of different properties, so we had to figure it all out and put the puzzle together. So do you think that the extra workload kind of scares off some realtors, or do you think it's more just lack of knowledge? It's mind-bending, so a lot of people don't want to even go that far, because a lot of people, um, just like any field, it matters if they want to get into it. And that's what's really cool about real estate. You can get focused just on building houses, or you can focus on just um, like exchanging property, or you can focus on just residential, or just commercial, or whatever. But to have a, a tool like exchanging in your pocket helps you out a lot, and helps a lot of people out, actually. Awesome. All right. Was well, there anything like you'd like to add? Um, they should teach this in high school. <laughs> that's what I think. How to buy a house and how to exchange property. You know, along with stocks and bugs. <laughs> That's what I have to add.